This will be the first video in a series of videos that I am planning on making to provide you with basic building and construction plans along with how all of the framing components will be assembled or should I say can be assembled in a certain manner because small modifications can be changed to make a difference if you're building something like this. I don't want to suggest that what I'm showing you is the only way to build this. And of course, I will create a playlist that will provide you with all the videos, along with a link to the website where you can also view the videos. Now, another thing I want to point out is that this particular video here is going to be used to create a two-story home edition. I will also provide links to that. And if for some reason you don't find them, let me know, and I will post them somewhere where everyone can view them. So let's Let's go ahead and get started with the front of the house and the garage door, which will be 16 feet long, 20 foot 8 overall, and it's going to be 23 feet 8 inches wide. And of course, we will have a door coming out of the garage so that we can have access from the front door to the washer and dryer. And in our two story edition, we're going to enclose this area so you won't be going outside of the house to access the washer and the dryer. Or some people like to go through the garage to get to their car, they don't want to be out inside the house. And this is an actual building that I worked on. I did the two-story addition for it. So I drew the plans. I had a pretty good memory of what the plans were, but this isn't going to be perfectly accurate down to the inch or quarter of an inch. Next up, we got a window for bedroom one, the front door, and then a couple of corner windows for the living room. Let's go ahead and look at the living room and the bedroom. Living room will be 13 foot by 13 foot. This will not be a huge bedroom and this one here is going to be even smaller along with some small closets here. And for those of you who don't know what FAU means, I feel your pain. This took me quite some time as a young carpenter and it means forced air unit. It will be for your heating and air conditioning system. And if you were going to build a house like this today, you could actually put this in the attic and give yourself a little more closet room and both bedrooms. Next up, let's go ahead and shoot over into the bathrooms. They will be identical, just flipped over in reverse. All of your plumbing will be in one wall, including the bathtub I just had to flip around because I had it over here. For those of you who didn't see that magic trick, just go ahead and back up a little bit in the video. And of course, we have a couple of windows that are going to be over the bathtub shower units and then a couple of doors and we're going to have some medicine cabinets right here. And then we can go out of the bathroom into the master bedroom, bathroom, closet, and then let's go ahead and go over to the closet. Zoom out. I don't know if I got all these measurements in here so you could see them. Let me just go back. Kind of go through here so everybody can see them. Okay. master bedroom closet. And even though you can put the door over here, it's probably not going to be the best idea. And the reason why I'm saying that is because your bed is either going to go up against this wall, up against this wall, or up against this wall. And it could create a problem if you needed to place a piece of furniture like a dresser or a TV there. So again, this could be an option you could change. And of course, our bedroom window. And now let's head over to the kitchen where we will have a sliding glass door couple of cabinets here. The range, the sink, refrigerator, and of course the measurements here for this. Let me see if I can zoom out there. And now we are back at the front of the house. So that is going to be it for our floor plan. Next up, let's take a look at what the building will look like with the walls and the roof to give you an idea of how the windows, the doors, and some of the other items might work. And another thing I need to point out is that the window headers for the two windows in the bathrooms will need to be higher. And of course, you will see more of that when I draw the framing or provide you with the framing plans. And I'm trying not to go too fast here because otherwise it kind of looks like this and drives everybody crazy. 
So the closets for the bedrooms, the smaller bedroom, bedroom number one, the hallway, and the master bedroom closet over here. Master bedroom bath and the other bath are going to be the same here. And you can probably get a pretty good idea why we needed to raise the header so that we wouldn't have problems with the bathtub shower unit. Now let's go ahead and put our roof on going to be a gable roof and this isn't a real common gable roof design but I didn't want to change it because this is what the roof looked like on the original house. Now I know for some of you who know a little bit about construction that we usually have a roof drainage cricket here and that wasn't the case. This had a large piece of sheet metal that was probably four foot wide and it went up two feet on each side and it didn't have any slope to it at all. However, I noticed there weren't very many problems. And of course, this house is located in Southern California, so really uh, kind of more of a desert climate. Something like this probably wouldn't work in the snow. And that ends our tour of the house here. And of course, I will put a link to the next video at the end of every video in the series and again create a playlist that you can click on to see all of the videos. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up button to let us know you enjoyed the video or maybe even learn something from it.